All right, first thing I did was start out with two different um, primers, actually. I used Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser around my nose, which is where my pores tend to be a little bit larger. And then on the rest of my face, I used NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. After the primer, I put on my foundation with my Beauty Blender. I used Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in Sun Beige. Just make sure I put it on um, evenly and blend it in well um, all over the face. The foundation I'm using is actually a shade too dark for my skin tone, um, but I'm going to be tanning again soon so I haven't switched. Plus once I do the contour and highlighting it should be blended in enough to not stand out. And in this part I'm using Maybelline um, Age Rewind Concealer in Fair in my under eye area. I'm going to be putting it um, right in the center of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. Then I'll be putting it on my chin and then I'll be putting it on underneath my cheekbones along the line I'll be putting my contour just to kind of give a good um, chiseled look there. Um, this part I am starting my contour. I'm using NYX Wonder Stick in the color Deep. Um, it actually has a highlight and a contour side, but today I'm just using the contour since I used the other highlighter already. With this, I'm just going to put it on my forehead, um, along my cheekbones, and along my jawline, and it will be on the sides of my nose. I usually go a little heavier on my cheekbones to chisel them out, which kind of helps thin my face out since I have a kind of a pretty round face. Um, and also putting it on your jawline will help make um, the illusion of a more defined jaw to help cover up um, that double chin there. Then blend it all together with a beauty blender. I use the same beauty blender when I'm uh, blending both contour and highlight. I just tend to try flipping it over and using different sides for each. That way it doesn't uh, create a muddy look when the colors are mixed together. For this part, I'm using my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, which I just got and I'm obsessed with. Um, it works really well. I'm using the color Tan and Toffee mixed together on my cheekbones and jawline and forehead to kind of deepen and set the contour that I put down already. And then to set the uh, highlight, I'll be using the color Cream, which is the third lightest color. It's sort of a yellowish hued color um, in the highlighting part of the palette. For this part, I'm actually using two different Ulta blush brushes. I use one to dust on the contour powder, and then for when I around my nose, I push it down and kind of fan it out to make a more fine line. And then the other one is a little bit smaller, and I use that on the highlight part. For this part, I am setting everything with NYX HD Finishing Powder. After that's blended in nicely, I'll spritz with NYX um, Matte finish setting spray. Now for my brows I'm actually using Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown but if you want to stick to drugstore brands I would recommend uh, NYX Gel Liner and, Liner and Smudger. It's actually an eyeliner but I used it for my brows for so long and I use the color dark brown. It's pretty much the same as the Ash Brown. I don't like anything on my brows that has a reddish tint and I find that most brown liners or pens or anything for the brow usually does. 
So I'm pretty stoked on both of these because they lack that red hue that I do not like. Now I'm just using a little concealer brush to apply a small amount of foundation around my brows just to clean it up and give it a more defined look. On my eyes I'm using Maybelline's Nude Palette. Um, to be honest I don't prefer this palette. I'm really, I'm really obsessed with like overly pigmented, super silky awesome shadows. Not to say that this isn't good for the brand, I just, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to that. But this is still good and it um, works good, especially if you build it up and blend it well. I don't have the names of the colors, but I'm using a goldish hue on my lid, um, a brown with a bit of a gold shimmer for my crease, and then I'm using the lightest color in the palette, which is about like a whitish yellow color with a little bit of shimmer in that um, on my brow bone for a highlight. Then I blend it all together. After it's blended, I'm using my um, Stila waterproof um, eyeliner pen. And again, if you wanna stick to drugstore brands, before this I used to use, I would just use uh, Wet n Wild um, liquid liner. It's not waterproof and it does tend to smudge, but if you're not crying, it's pretty good for the price, which is, I believe, no more than like five or six bucks. So again, if you wanna stick to drugstore brands, I would recommend that. Also, I believe Maybelline has a pretty good pen that's similar to that. Now I'm putting on my lashes. Um, for the lashes I used Ardell's brand. Um, they're Demi 120 I believe. Yes, Demi 120. They're really similar similar to Ardell's Wispies which I really love. Um, I think lashes are one of the most important parts to a finished makeup look. Basically your eyelashes are the drapes to the windows of your soul. As corny as that sounds I think it's super important to um, add them. Plus I hate mascara and with these I only had to put a little bit of mascara on to blend my lashes into the falsies which I prefer. On my waterline I'm using Rimmel's waterproof liner in nude. Um, I think it's super important to use a nude or white pencil along your wa uh, waterline it really opens up your eyes and brightens them and it makes a huge difference here I'm going back in and I'm deepening my contour a little bit more with the NYX palette um, the same colors I used before, which I believe was tan and toffee. I'm obsessed with a good contour. I have a pretty chubby round face and I think it kind of chisels me out, gives me the definition I need to thin my face out a bit. After I go back in with my contour, I'm going over my cheekbones and a couple other highlighted areas with Smashbox Soft Lights Shimmer Highlighter. Um, again, if you want to stick to drugstore brands, NYX Pro Palette has a really good brand, the very first color in that palette is called Ice Queen. It's pretty similar to the Smashbox. It has a shimmer, a pinkish white shimmery hue. It's very pretty. Um, it'd probably work just the same as this. I'm just using the Smashbox because I had it out and I like it. Now I'm lining my lips with Mauve by NYX. I believe it's Mauve. Yes, it's my favorite lip liner and I always overline my top lip because I do not like how much smaller it is than my bottom lip. You don't have to do that. Um, but I prefer to make them a little more even looking. If you do overline it, make sure you don't go too much out of the line, just a little goes a long way. Um, I also make sure I blend the lip liner in to um, the center of my lip so it's not just a straight line all the way around. After I finish with the liner, I'm gonna apply NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Stockholm to the center of my lips and kind of blend it out to give it a bit of a dimensional look.
All right, well, that's it for my very first video, video, video tutorial. Let me know what you think. I hope you liked it. All right, bye.